Hi there and welcome to tutorial 11 on product moment correlation coefficients and coding. This is for the Edexcel S1 A level module. It's also applicable to most other exam boards and as always if you're looking for further help do check out youtube.com slash Mr. Arnold's Maths. Uh, we've got a really really short video here for you today and um, so we're just going to start with how we understand or um, and uh, be able to uh, describe what the value means. Now I already touched on this in the last video so this won't be a huge leap in understanding. Um, suppose we have a scatter diagram we calculate or to be exactly one that means it's very strong it's perfect linear positive correlation uh, the closer to one it is the stronger the correlation uh, r by the way will vary between minus one and one if it's any bigger than one or any smaller than minus one then you've made a mistake in your calculation if it's minus one you've got perfect negative correlation and if the closer it gets to zero that means no correlation so a uh, very quick question for you to try so pause the video and try and match the diagram to the value of R it represents. Okay, hopefully you've had a go at that. And um, the first one here, we can see it's negative correlation. It looks very strong. So it's gonna be very close to minus one. So that's gonna go in there. This one is a positive correlation, but it's not that strong. Um, but in comparison to the other two, it must be, um, must be closer to one than either of them. So I'd match 0 0.53 to that one. And next one, it is a form of positive correlation. Not, not very strong at all though. We can see if I draw an oval around it, it kind of goes, it slopes up from left to right. So it is a type of positive correlation, but it's not very strong at all. So 0 0.12. And we can see here, the last one is a form of negative correlation. Again, if I draw an oval around it, we can see it slopes down from left to right, um, although not very strong. So it's going to be minus 0.16. Okay, um, that's it for understanding what or means. And then next thing we have to look at is coding. And the most important thing to know is that coding does not affect the PMCC whatsoever. So if you code a set of data, I'm just going to show you now. Uh, we code the set of data and then work out the PMCC. That will give you a uh, a value for R which will perfectly represent the data set. So suppose we have a data set like so and then we use coding P equals X minus 120, uh, 1020 over 1, Q equals Y minus 300 over 5. So we code all the data points just like we've done before in previous videos. We work out the sum of P, the sum of Q, the sum of P squared, the sum of Q squared and the sum of PQ. We can evaluate R. So just reminding ourselves, R equals S, well, in this case, it's going to be S P Q over the square root of S P P S Q Q. So I'm going to work out S P P. S P P. Now, add, you don't need to copy this down. I'm just going to show you how it works. S P P. Um, we should know is going to come from the sum of p squared minus sum of p uh, let's mod modify this bracket sum of p to be squared over n which gives us plugging this into the calculator sum of p squared which is seven three seven minus sum of p squared, which is fifty five over n, which in this case is six, I think one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, which gives us. 232.83 two 
okay i'm going to pause the video now um, and i'm going to fill in the rest just to save a little bit of time maybe you want to have a go at working out s q q and s p q so maybe you could pause and try and work them out um, okay so there are the values of sqq and spq and now i'm going to work out r just by plugging them into the formula so we're going to do spq which is 93.17 93.17 all over the square root of spp which is 232.83 multiplied by SQQ 86.83 86.83 and that gives us a total of 0 0.655 to 3 sig fig 0 0.655 5 to 3 significant figures so that's telling me that is a positive correlation and it's reasonably strong it's 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 closer to one than it is to zero so it's reasonably strong now you would find if i was to work out um the uh, value of r for this data set we will actually get the exact same value for r as we did after we coded it uh, no example for you to do and uh, that's pretty much it for this video hopefully you found it fairly straightforward uh, you should now be able to attempt exercise 6c and 6d and that's all from me uh, take it easy best of luck with revision and i'll talk to you again sometime